folks, and this is for the Antiques Collectible Good Furniture sale on the 7th of March. We have got oodles of absolutely brilliant gear for you. The odd, the unusual, the special, and the enormous. Uh, to get off, this is beautiful. It's Chinese, right? The guy that bought it, bought it pre-war. All of his uh, paperwork and everything, he was a soldier in Rimi, the Medicu. He was in uh, China, right, pre-war. And they bought a lot of stuff and that's come in. He did end up in a Japanese prisoner of war camp. But that's uh, one piece of his and there'll be many as we go through. Now, we've also got this beautiful old Bezic Alsatian or German Shepherd. I think there's a difference, but that's lovely. Bezic Corgi, Queen's favourite. And the Queen on the same cabinet. There we are. That is a lovely piece there. And, of course, Royal Worcester. So that's a fine piece of china. If you could have the Queen on your sideboard. Now then, moving along, we've got lots of bits and pieces. One particular piece, and we've got a lot of it, railway stuff. Now this, from uh, the London North Eastern Railway. And this was actually the ashtray out of a Pullman carriage. Not easy to find, I've never seen one before. But, if you're a railway collector, a lovely little piece. Pullman carriage. Yeah, and as I say, this week we have got a, a massive amount of railway signs and also petroleum signs. There's a really old Pratt's one there, there's a BP, but we'll have a look at those as we go through. Now, starting on the railway stuff, this is a, a track clamp, and that's actually what nails onto the uh, side and holds the uh, track down. This piece is one of the old LNER signs. Uh, then we've got lots of uh, Cafe de Monte, but these are all first quality, the best. If you see the fingers and the little cards and everything else, the detail is fabulous. These are all first quality. Most of them have got their certificates with them of author authorization, and um, a lot of them are limited edition. So now then, this uh, is what they call a tipple stick. Now inside here is a tube with alcohol in it, you open the top. But this is a limited edition, it's solid silver, great big thing, own case. And uh, this was made to commemorate uh, Charles and Di's wedding. On um, and there's only 250 made and that's number six so that's a piece to look after here we are, more railway signs and that's a distance sign that'd be alongside the track and that's a distance sign loads of stuff this week here we are, this is all railway gear this is the for the electricians doing the signals now this is a particular beautiful gun right now we can sell this and you can own it and you don't have to have special license because this is what is called a pin fire made in about 1840 what you do is you open that pull these back flips down and it's like a it's like a paper cartridge that you put in with a pin in it and when these hit, they strike down on here and uh, they set it off. But this was made by Monarch, which is M-O-N-C-K. And they are from Stamford. So this is quite local to us. 
it's got a uh, Damascus steel barrel and you can see that um, I don't know if you're going to see that in the video but it's made from wiring uh, wiring and wiring and wiring uh, metal heating it up and then oh there's a bit there you might be able to see better but as I say this gun is old but you can have it on display at home beautiful now this has come from this guy in um, in uh, China and it's a set of um, uh, Marjon it's all there and there's a little bits to hold your tiles in and these are all called tiles bone on the back bamboo on the front and this is from about 1930 late 20s 1930 now again railway right this is what is known as a crocodile spanner see that's a normal spanner and that's a crocodile now in the old days going back to the 1800s early 1900s there was no um, organized size of nuts and bolts so what happened was there was a whole mixture on all the railways and everywhere else um, so what they did is they invented this spanner and you put that on the nut and then you drop a wedge in here which makes it the correct size for the one that you want to use and we are both ends but that is LNS okay that's an LNS one that's another LNS these are all railway stuff we've got our usual carvings now this sign behind you, Southern Electric, right? And it's got down trains, up trains. It's a big sign that's come out of a station, right? And it's Southern Electric, this one, okay? Now then, we've got some more signs here, more signs there. There's loads of them. Now, here we go, that's the red lamp. Oh, dearie me, heavy. Now, this one can be converted to paraffin as well. This is an electric one at the moment, but this was originally paraffin, and then they've converted it to electric. So that's a brilliant piece. More of these, there's British Rail signs, British Rail, ah. And then this lamp. This, this is actually Jap Japanese satsuma ware. Now that's a beautiful vase, right, that's been turned into a lamp. Now, it could be converted back. There we are. So that's more. Now then, also this week, and there's loads to see, taxidermy. So, we have got a stag, a fox, a badger, and another stag, which all are on sale separately. But aren't. Now then, for a great big lump, massively heavy, for the real enthusiast, this is, uh, this sign sits on the side of the track, and it's an indicator. You've got green for go, red for stop, and if you see the back, it's got massive great weights on it uh, to make sure that these uh, go properly. Now, if I can get round now, I'll show you. Uh, one of them works. Oh, can I? There. there we go, see? Like that. That's how it works. And it's only got to show just the difference between them two plastics in there or them two glasses in there. These are EBW uh, track signs, and they're the big ones that go up on the side of the track to tell the driver whether to carry on or stop. These ones are signs along the side of the track. Then we've got a gate uh, sign there, uh, British Rail sign that 
above a ticket office that's come out of the underground, I think. And it actually lights up that one. So that would be nice for you. This one, really, really interesting. Now this has come from New Cross Gate uh, Relay Room, which is New Cross Station, right? And this is the light up board. So you can see with these little lights where the trains actually are. So uh, if you ever seen the film Pelham 123, they're always looking at this board to see where the train is. Now it's quite heavy, it hangs on the wall, but all the wiring is in the back. So a real keen railway memorabilia enthusiast could wire that up again easy because all the wires come out the bottom and you could do that very easily. Right, now another piece of taxidermy. We've got this pike up there with two perch in front of it. As you can see from that, that was caught in Whittlesea. So that's really local. But that's beautiful, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it, it's in perfect order. And that's a real lovely one for a fishing pub or club or anything really. Now, as you can see from this lot, we have got loads. Absolute tons of stuff. Ah, now, one of my favourites is this lovely old greyhound here. Isn't he beautiful? Look, size of him. Can you see? He's as tall as me. Look at that. Look, see? Big old piece there. And then we've got all these lovely nice pieces. Now, this one is made at the same place as um, in Germany as Meissen. Now these two, I think, no, they're resin, but they're a couple of parrots. And another parrot here. Here we go. And there we are, there's a little sign on the bottom. There we go. And it's signed by the artist, as you can see. Oh, now this one is an opium pipe, all right? Now it's beautifully carved, right? Signed by the maker, beautifully carved. But the trouble is that somebody has glued that in and glued that. So if you want to smoke a bit of opium, you're going to have to unglue that and drill all there, right? But that is incredible. Incredibly beautiful, that one. There we are. Right, there's lots of kettles in. As you can see, the bottom here is brazed in. And the back, you can see the braise on the back. Now, if that was a modern copy, you wouldn't see any of that. It wouldn't be there because they just stamp them out. In them days, they had to make them properly. Right, here we've got, this came from Malaysia. And it's some sort of ceremonial uh, umbrella or... Um, parasol right but it's actually it's not it's a ceremonial thing uh, for dancing with for the dancers to dance with there's these beautiful hanging lamps now these have candles inside them see if they're just if that will go yes it will you see I have a little candle in there and that's why they're long and thin and then you hang them up on uh, like a like a light um, you know, wall sconce now. Bow fronted Georgian chest. This one of my favourites. This is bronze pig. All right. Now I reckon he's absolutely good. Look at the face on that. Look, and he's got a tail and he's got a bum. All right. But that's a bronze pig there. That should fetch a few bub. And there's also these which you've probably seen a lot of but never in bronze now these are bronze fighting cocks now you can have them like that or 
You could have them like that because that's how they fight. They have spurs on the backs of their legs. There we go. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh, I see loads of stuff. Loads. That is a Stife Coca-Cola bear. Now, it's a polar bear, obviously, ice, Coca-Cola. But that is as rare as hen's teeth and a lovely piece. Now, there's a pair of them. Oh, bloody hell, they're heavy. Now, these are bronze urns. They're just artwork on their own. You'd have them standing under a column or on a plinth, but two together. And these are absolutely gorgeous. And they've got loads of age to them, probably about 1900 or something. There we go. But it's loads. Just can't tell you how much stuff we've got. Look at these chairs. Now, these are dining chairs. Beautiful. Ladder backs, right? And these are probably Georgian, looking at them, I would say. But look, wouldn't they make lovely hall chairs? Don't let anybody sit in them. There we go. Old chairs. Lloyd Loom. This is a set of Avery. Uh, sack scales. Now these are for weighing out in the farm. Sacks of potatoes, sacks of wheat, sacks of anything, just to get the right weight. But they are bloody heavy. But they're really old as well. Now then. Oh, another one of my favourite lots. Here, look at that. Now that's a fire screen. Right, look at this barley twist up here. Look, look at it, hand carved, absolutely beautiful. Now anybody who's got a big fireplace with a big opening and a nice cottage or old style of room, absolutely love that. And if you have a look at the back, it's even got, you can actually tell a lot on the back, tell how old it is. Look at this old piece of material they put on the back. There we are, you see? But that's not when the fire's on, that's when the fire's off. Or well, that would be the fire. What we got? A little bit of uh, modern furniture, but really nice. Lovely coffee table for somebody in oak, right? More capital them, aren't they? Complete old silver plate tea service. Jasperware. Now then. We got this cannon. Now this is a brass cannon, but in there is a little hole, which means that this cannon is actually fireable. Okay? Little bit of black powder in there, small ball, bit of a marble. Light the end, boff. This thing is the um, Malaysian version of a cheese holder. Put a cheese in here, all right? Now, 16th century, 17th century, 18th century, that's what they used to do. They'd have cheese in there and they'd cut it into wedges as you needed it. There we are. Look. Tom Cobbley, best you can get. Beautiful rocking horse, right? Any home would uh, want one. And this one, it's, it's Minty. That's the name of this horse, right? It was named by the buyers. And obviously now they're selling it. But uh, just down there hiding is a lovely cast iron water feature. Right? Now that has got pipe work for the back. That's a hose connection. And the last owner actually used it as a, you know, uh, for watering his garden. Now then, this beastie here, the full size metal cast uh, stag. Now look at that, isn't that? Wouldn't you like that in your garden? But it's heavy, all right? And that is really lovely. This piece here is a mirror 
as you can see, out of a jeweler's in Hatton Garden, right? Now, have you noticed it's, um, it's got a very old um, postcode on the bottom because it's EC1. That's the first postcode there ever were in the country. But this is uh, Kaz and Co. Cats and Co. Right, jewellers. But look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful thing to have in the right home. And then we've got paintings. Loads of stuff. Uh, are these Pelhams? I think they are, yeah. Pelham puppets. We've got, oh, China. Something to suit everybody. Now then, here we are. Old Country Roads. Royal Albert. Old Country Roads. Now that isn't that a beautiful set. You've even got the tea tray, the doilies, coffee pot, teapot. This is all to go with your uh, coffee. And this one to go with your tea. Uh, soup bowls, plates. <laughs> Amazing set. And worth a fortune, actually. Now then, this lovely old table, right, seats eight people. It's big, it's a rectory table, three plank top, right, pinned together, right, and that for the right home, splendid. Look at these lovely old chairs, really great. Okay, another piece of this Chinese stuff from um, the bloke that was out there and his wife, right? Who suffered so much, I must admit. Here we go. Look at this. What a lot of people call the captain's chair, but it's actually a dining chair. There's a pair of these chairs. As you can see, the other one's over there. Absolutely gorgeous. Copy of a Louis XIV. Wonderful. Right, this card table, okay? In, um, needs a little bit of, as you can see, needs a bit of, um, a bit of loving care, right? Now the, <coughs> normally, which I can't find, is it there? Oh yeah, there it is. Look, that's a drawer in the bottom for your, all oh, your uh, gambling tokens. A little patch there for gambling totals, not for an ashtray. That's a little place there's four of you play cards on this. Now, to keep it all nice and, uh, yeah, what you do when you're setting it up, all right, is you turn it like that, and then those corners give a support for these bits that stick out. You can see, like that, it's underneath. It just gives it a little bit of support. And then when you finish using it, you just fold it up and you've got a table. Here we go, look. Moving on. Lovely, that's solid oak. I mean, it's modern, like this. It is modern, right? Solid oak wardrobe. Beautiful. There we got loads of brilliant stuff. Now then, back of and set. Lovely, nice old Georgian table. Lovely uh, glass fronted bookcase there. And if you see in between them, oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful rattan seat corner chair. Right, old Nelson could have sat in that. Um, modern corner unit. Now, this thing, I don't think you can get around this thing. This thing is a proper fire grate for a proper fire. Can you see you've got the cast iron back, the grate there, the dogs in front. Obviously, this is mainly for locks, but you can get hold of that grate and stand it in front if you were going to use something else. Well then, this is one of the best sales that we've got on, had on for ages, absolutely ages. There is so much stuff in here, you've got to come down and have a look if you can. Don't forget, on Fridays, which is viewing day, we also do condition reports. 
So if you're concerned about or you want to find more about something, more photos, phone us up, email us, let us know. Okay then, now Thursday is the catalogue day, that will be the 5th of March. Uh, about half past four, the catalogue will go out, massive. Friday is viewing, eight till five, and Saturday, eight o'clock we open, auction at 10, right? And that will be on the 7th of March, but you've got to come down and have a look. A real, absolute, eclectic lot of stock. Now then, if you're on the internet and you're working by photos, and uh, you want to uh, bid on the net, uh, the uh, website is easyliveauctions.com forward slash Harrison's. And you've got to look.